Jennifer Michaels never intended to live with her mother, Lucy Abbott. So who's winning? But when Me. Michael sold her house faster than she expected, <laughs> she and her uh, kids needed somewhere to stay. So they went to grandma's. So what's Much that? to Maybe all their surprise, they didn't hate it. We decided it just was like the perfect fit and we never left. I enjoyed the life that the kids bring to you when they're around you all the time. But um, we did have our challenges. The challenge was not a bigger space, but separate spaces. I'm time traveler. Lucy likes the video games. I'm a gamer and I'm up till two or three o'clock in the morning and um, the kids need their sleep. Oh dear. <laughs> So mother and daughter decided well, to buy a next-gen home by builder Lennar, a leader in this trend. The home has two entrances, separate kitchens and living areas. I literally have gone three days without seeing her. 14% of all U.S. households, that 16 and a half million, already live multi-generationally. One of the reasons is we've seen so much immigration in the last 25 years and other cultures around the world tend to live multi-generationally. That, that's caused the numbers to increase substantially. The recession also played a part. Young adults were hit hardest in the job market and some were unable to move out. They're also delaying marriage, which keeps them home longer. On the other end of the spectrum, baby boomers are retiring and downsizing. Burns surveyed 20,000 potential home buyers and found nearly half would like to accommodate their elderly parents in their next home, and almost as many want to live with their adult children. Not at all about the finances. Uh, in fact, the house that we were all living in, uh, we're renting it out, so we didn't even sell it to buy this house. It's more of a connection between the generations. Grandparents like me are more active, you know, um, we do more things, we're healthier, we live longer, so the relationships with grown-up children can mature. And so, with the right floor plan, the little light bulb went on. Families exactly. that don't play yeah. together can still stay together. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington. <laughs>